There's basically only one thing to do inside of Vanguard Zombies at this point in time, and that is to unlock the Vanguard Dark Aether camo. And honestly, it hasn't really even appealed to me in the slightest, mainly because it's just so ugly and I don't even care to see it on my gun. But because the, the stakes to get it, they're so high for a reward that is just not worth your time. And I don't think I'm alone in that feeling, of course, but getting 4,000 critical kills or 4,000 packed kills or whatever it is, getting my gun to level 70 for however many guns there are in the game, only on two quote-unquote zombies maps it just doesn't really seem worth it and when vanguard first launched most of the camos inside of the game were bugged leading players to be frustrated because they couldn't even go for atomic or dark matter at all and even when vanguard had launched all the way back in november of 2021 most of the camos for vanguard for the guns in vanguard i guess whether it's multiplayer or zombies they were bugged so you couldn't unlock the atomic or the dark aether camo anyway so the one thing that people love to do right when the game launched was unable to be completed because of bugs, because this game is broken and it's just not getting any better. And we need communication. And I'm going to have a video about communication coming out later this week, but I just really think that we're, we're owed an explanation for what's happening. So why am I bringing this up? Why am I telling you the tale of camos being broken, things not being able to be completed inside of Vanguard? Well, because they're still broken as of March 30th according to Dexerto, and I'm going to have a little bit more evidence here in a second, but let's start off by reading this title. COD Vanguard Dark Aether Camo Impossible to Unlock in Zombies. COD Zombies fans love going for the Dark Aether Camo as it's seen as the mode's ultimate prize, but Vanguard players are reporting that a bug is preventing them from unlocking it. Alongside the usual checklist that Zombies fans expect from COD games such as Easter Eggs and Wonder Weapons, Camos are also highly prizes. Just like with Vanguard's core multiplayer experience, Zombies allow allows players to grind and complete camo challenges for all guns and earn the main reward, the Dark Aether Camo. Earning the top camo is always a long endeavor that can take weeks of work, and some Vanguard Zombies fans, despite their best efforts, are being denied their reward by an in-game bug. So now, this is where they go in to describe the bug, which, oh my gosh, it's just so ridiculous. Treyarch's determination to salvage Vanguard Zombies has been admirable. I, you're being nice, but okay, sure, it's admirable, I guess. But some fans just haven't been pleased with this year's attempt at undead content. Regardless, Loyalist will still play Daranfang and Terra Maldicta out of love for zombies. Striving to unlock Dark Aether Camo will be a big incentive to do so, but one player has revealed why this isn't technically possible for some players. The Survivalist Camos, which are 2,000 kills with 7 attachments, are currently bugged for the PPSH, Well Gun, All DMRs, 3-Line, Garenko, and the Type 11. They concluded by tweeting at the devs. Okay, whatever. So this next part, the ending paragraph, I actually find to be kind of confusing and a little bit telling of this game's state, of course, because it's a mess, as we have alluded to at the beginning. But Exerto author Andrew Heighton writes, In short, the Dark Aether camo requires players to complete all the camo challenges for every gun, and if one gun cannot be completed, then the whole system goes awry. Some people were replying in the comment section of this tweet, you know, such BS, I'm finishing assault rifles and then I have handguns left, and another user said that everything was working except for sniper rifles, that's really telling that people are getting different variants of this bug. So maybe there is multiple bugs out there for the Dark Aether camo, and I wouldn't even be surprised. I think it was fixed for a little bit, for a couple months, but it's broken again. One of the commenters on the post made their feelings clear by saying, how are these challenges still bugged? Game's been out for months now. I can't imagine it's that hard to update some stupid challenges, but what do I know? In the grand scheme of things for Vanguard, it doesn't appear like Zombies is high on the priority list. So if the issue becomes more widespread and problematic, then action may need to be taken sooner rather than later. So that's the end of the article. And honestly, they're never going to fix Vanguard Zombies. We know that. It's never going to get fixed. Sure, they could patch the camo, but who cares? Like, why would you want to go for this ugly camo? I get maybe if you like to make content for the game, but that's a totally different subject. I'm talking about for the average person. I make content for this game, well, for Call of Duty Zombies in general, and I don't want to do it. Only a few people I know, a few friends of mine, have really gone for it because, you know, they like grinding for camos and they, they just wanted to do it to get every camo and every COD game, and I respect that. But for the average person that just wants to have a good time and, and grind for fun, like if you're not doing this for a living, then I don't see why you would want to waste your time doing this at all. If the devs don't respect you, then why should you respect them by playing their game? 
But real quick, real quick, one more thing before we sign off for this video. If you go to the Vanguard Trello board, now if you don't know what the Trello board is, it's where they put all of the bugs. So when people report bugs to the Vanguard Twitter or to the Activision Twitter, they will put any Vanguard bugs, whether it's zombies, Warzone, or MP, global issues, whatever, they'll put them on these Trello boards. Cold War has one, Warzone has one, now Vanguard has one. Sledgehammer is in fact tracking the camo challenges bug. They are. It is official. It's on here. It's on the Trello page, which means that it's happening. So this article isn't bunk. It's not out of date. There is still a bug inside of this game. And Vanguard just throws it up there, which is fine. I want them to throw it up there, but who the hell knows when it's going to get fixed. Orange is its level right now, and orange means investigating. So they're not even actively fixing it. And there's not a fixed scheduled, and there's not a fixed release, obviously. So they're just looking into something that should have been fixed November 11th or whenever the hell this game launched and people can't do the bare minimum which is unlock the camos in the game for free which is the only thing we really have left at this point because they've taken every single reward system away from us so yeah i don't know i just wanted to make this video to explain that this glitch was going on because this isn't a bug where you can complete the camo challenges and then you will get the camo later when they fix the patch it's not tracking at all so there's like six guns out there that you could be using right now that are just not tracking progression and you're gonna waste four to six hours for no reason because this game's not fun so you're not gonna have fun the game's not gonna be tracking your camo so you're not gonna be making any progress you could have been working out could have been buying a gift for your girlfriend could have been taking a hike could have been doing anything but no you had to waste your time unlocking a camo that doesn't exist. <laughs> but all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, hit that sub button, all you know the drill, all that crap. But that being said, what do you guys think is going to happen? Are we ever going to get this camo fixed? At first, it was Atomic, then it was Dark Aether, then they were both working. Now they're not working again. Every update breaks more stuff. It's just comical at this point. No hate or anything. But I'm just curious, like, do you think it's ever going to get fixed? I personally don't think it will probably not for months at least and then when it finally gets fixed modern warfare 2 will start to get talked about and put in the news and everything and nobody will care anymore because we'll be all focused on a good game that's going to be coming out at the end of the year thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys all in the next video peace out everybody